This question is talking about people who are stockholders and people who are not stockholders and people who are employees and people who are not employees. So as usual for a question like this we should use a Carroll's diagram also known as a double set matrix and I'm going to construct it in the following way. Stockholders, not stockholders, total. Employees, not employees, total. Now they gave us an important hint in the question stem when they said that every person who attended a certain meeting was either a stockholder or an employee or both, which means that we must put a zero into the cell that describes those people who are neither stockholders nor employees. Now this question is in the world of percents, so I'm just going to use 100 for my total total, which means I can now put 47 for all of the people who are employees and 62 for all of the people who are stockholders. Now, since I know there are 47 employees and 100 total, there must be 53 people who are not employees. And thanks to the fact that I put a zero in the neither nor cell, I can immediately see that the answer, the thing they're asking for, the number of stockholders who are not employees must also be 53. Notice that in this case, I didn't actually need the 62. In other words, they gave us a fact that was unnecessary and that's uncommon. It's really quite rare that in problem solving, the GMAT will give us a fact that we don't need, but it does happen and this is a good example of that. So we're gonna go with 53 and move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.